Hi everyone, so in this uh, video, I'm going to explain to you how you can make if and else statements. You can use if and else statements in the formulas of your Outgrow calculators. But before I get to that, let me just explain to you briefly what Outgrow does. Outgrow enables you to create interactive content like calculators, quizzes, recommendations, forms, surveys, chatbots, polls, contests, and assessments. These high converting, personalized, and viral experiences add real value to the customer, enable new levels of engagement, and generate helpful data that you can use to qualify and segment leads. So if you want to make a calculation widget, you can just go to our templates and then search by industry where you will be able to find uh, examples of calculators in your industry. We have like almost 21 industries listed in that in this section and you can just pick any template out and then go to your dashboard. But for this uh, video, I have already picked a particular calculator in which I'm going to show you how to use the if else statements. So I'm going to head directly to my dashboard, which I actually have open in another, in another tab. So here is the calculator in which I'm going to show you how to use the if and else statements. So this is a calculator we made during the coronavirus to actually show people the risk of uh, them dying from coronavirus. So as you can see, it asks for the age, it asks for any pre-existing -con conditions, and then uh, lists the particular each value here. So. Uh, for really high blood pressure, the value is 6, 6.3 for chronic respiratory disease. So each option in the question can have a particular value that's passed on to the formula. Same with the age, you know, 0 to 9 years, your risk is pretty low. And these are the increasing risks. And this is the, this is the data we had collected through all of these particular organizations. So, and then, you know, also based on what country they are, be, the person is based in. So these are all the particular risks. So now we don't actually use a lot of if and else statements in this one because we already know the particular risks, but there are conditions like, you know, if you were calculating the risk of someone hitting their head on the ceiling, it would be based on what their height is, but it would also be based on how sharp or keen their eyesight is. So you want to use an if and else statement saying that, you know, if a person's height is so and so, the risk of them hitting the head on the ceiling or the, you know, the door ceiling is lesser than if it was something else. But so that's how you can use a simple if and else statement, but I'll show you complicated ones as well. So let's just go to the results section here. And then you can go and see the particular formula. So I'm going to make a whole new formula. So let's just say a formula for this one. So if I had to say if your age is, so Q1 is what is your age? So if your age is Q1 equals to say, you know, the value is say three, then uh, so if your age is like three years old, then your risk is say 2% else. And this is the else function. So if, you're, if your age is three years old, then uh, your risk is 2% else it is 1%. So this basically gives you the R3. This is result 3 we are calculating. So the risk is basically if Q1 is equal to 3, then 2, else 1. All right, so that's how you can make a simple if statement. Uh, but if you want to make a more complex if statement where you want to have both of these factors inside, so you do if Q1 equals to 3, then 2, else if, so the 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 single hyphen can also be used like q1 equals to 3 then to else if uh, q1 equals to uh, 4 then the risk is 7 else if q1 equals to 8 then the risk is you know 10 else if so you can keep going on like this but you can also like include q2 so if you can say else if q2 is equal to uh, say you know three or you know whatever particular value you have been assigning to q2 so is equal to say you know three i'm just using it as an example then you know the risk is actually eight else else in other cases you know if, if none of those options are selected then in all those cases the answer is 20. So that's it for as far as using simple and complex if else statements if you have any questions feel free to email us at questions at outgrow.co thank you